Let's get to education matters right now. There's a classroom project that's helping students with specific medical conditions. So I looked into Project Lead the Way and the impact it's having outside the classroom. Y'all come and analyze that booth. Seventh and eighth graders are getting hands on in this design and modeling class at Sylvan Hills Middle School. I can help people that are like my age with the, the condition and like help them be like. More comfortable. They are creating foot orthosis boots to help students with cerebral palsy and spastic hemophilia. We're just making a boot to help autistic kids who walk on their tippy toes. Like spastic hemophilia is basically it's a restriction, so they can't do what we can do. Like you know how you stand flat-footed. Using materials in class, Janea Whitaker and her team created a prototype base on who the boot is designed for. It's all part of Project Lead the Way, which empowers grade school students to solve real-world challenges. It really brings the projects off the table, if you will, to allow them to see what good they can do. And the community. STEM educator Andrew Jones says it's all about getting his students to do more than read a lesson out of a textbook. Once the boot is complete, the person students made it for will be able to come in and test it out. Would it help them with their arch or keeping their, their heel down? Was it comfortable to where a client might be able to wear it more than just for that experiment? The final product, a lesson that's touching many hearts. It is really personal because I know that I'm helping in a type of way with autism, so it makes me happy. Project Lead the Way is done in schools across the nation. Now, some things kids have been creating are tablet games, robots, and therapeutic toys. Great work, you guys.